Okay, with uh, Hugh's help, I was able to figure out a way to make the Jewel Thief work off the automatic solar charger circuit that was in that solar garden light. And I had to move things around a bit and add and subtract parts, but I got it to work. And uh, it now uh, turns on and off a Jewel Thief. And um, Jewel Thief is better efficiency-wise. It'll run down to um, very, very low voltage and lower amp draw than the other circuit I was using. But uh, yeah, this uh, thing here is pretty neat. And here's the sh uh, demonstration set up. I've got this uh, three and a half volt um, solar cell charging up a super capacitor I'm going to show. There's the red LED light that's on showing that it's charging. There's voltage on the super capacitor right there, 1.879 volts on this uh, 50 farad 2.3 volt super cap. I'm going to show the energy going into another capacitor. This is a smaller one. This is 2200 microfarad. It's a 35 volt or 50 volt, 50 volt a regular capacitor, not a super capacitor, but it shows the energy recovery better than if I use a super capacitor here. Now I've got it grounded out right now. You can see there's zero on this capacitor right here. And currently this LED is off. The red LED is on, energy is coming out of the solar cell going into the supercapacitor. Now I'm going to shield the solar cell. Red light goes off, white light goes on. I'll undo it and show you how that works. It goes off, red light goes on, red light goes off, white light goes on. Can get that in the frame there. See how that works. And that's all automatic. And I can adjust that with a little 10K potentiometer right there. Okay, now, see the voltage hasn't gone down much on that super cap, but it will drain down. But I'm going to unhook this capacitor. And this is what makes this different than a normal garden light, is normally they just run down the voltage and the power, the amperage, uh, through that LED, and away it would go, that'd be it. On this circuit, there is some recovery, and that's why I've been working on this. Okay, watch what happens when I unground the capacitor. And this is voltage and amperage power, joules of energy, going into that capacitor from this circuit. And this is uh, why this is valuable, and I think this is why we've all been working on this, is this is energy recovery from this source. Now this source is a supercapacitor, like I say, and it will be draining down. But as it drains down, I'm going to be recovering energy into another spot. Now this could be a nickel metal hydride battery, a NICAD battery. In a larger system, it would be a lead acid battery. But it's this energy recovery that makes this different than a normal garden light. Now I'm going to undo the solar cell again, and that's going to stop. You can see that charging now stopped because the energy is now coming from the sun into that supercapacitor. And that will slowly charge up that supercapacitor. And nothing's going to happen. That will just slowly charge up. It takes a while. But then if I cover this back up again, turns the light on again, and up goes the energy on the back side of this circuit. And like I say, that's what makes this different and why it's not just a normal solar garden light is I'm taking energy from the sun I'm basically regulating it in on and off putting it into this jewel thief here and then when I turn on the jewel thief and light that LED I'm recovering part of it in another um, battery or capacitor anyway this is what I've worked so hard on is trying to get this uh, dialed in and it does work and uh, um, probably this will go in a box, this one right here. The other one worked great. I've been running it all day, the other circuit, but it's not as efficient. And this one here is a, a much more efficient way to go. This Jewel Thief, I'm totally sold on. It's a great way to go. It really is.